Hi, I'm Enrique with First West Financial. And I'm Chris with First West Financial. And this is our second episode of Q&A with, with Chris, Chris and Enrique. Enrique. So we're very excited to be here. We had great response last week. We did. And yeah. I think that this is one of those things where we want everybody that gets a chance to see mm -hmm. this to share this video so other people can learn about some of the questions and answers yes. that we have because the reality is this is relevant information. So sure. today, Chris, where are we going to go today? Well, in the spring, we actually have our first trip as Empty Nester That's scheduled, right. and we're going to go to Sedona. So we're excited to go to Sedona. Yeah. So Gary's going to put a Sedona background behind us, and here we are. So Perfect. today we have a very special Q&A. Today we we're going to be talking about all those offers in the mail that people get for refinances. Hundreds of them. So something that happens every, every single day, day, I come home and I walk in the kitchen and there is Chris opening dozens of envelopes. Seriously, all, dozens. All of them with this yeah. crazy uh, offer. So let's talk about those today. Yeah. What is question number one in relationship to all those offers that people get in the mail? Very good. Okay, so let's get going. The first question is, what are these offers and why do I keep getting them? Exactly. So the reason why you're getting these offers, what they are is really offers to refinance your home. Yeah. They can be phrased in many different ways. Some of them say that it's coming from the government. Some of them say that it's coming from your existing lender. The reality is that a lot of them are bogus offers. They're yeah. there to get you to call and they're gonna talk you into a really bad refinance. Like a bait and switch. Exactly, yeah. there's a lot of that. Yeah. So why is it that you're getting those? Well, the reality is when you purchase your home or when you refinance your home the last time, your information became part of the public record. So there are companies who go into the public record, they harvest the information, and then they target you with offers like, like this. this. And some of them are like pretty bad. Like this one is putting an interest rate that doesn't even exist. And then when you go down to the bottom and read the fine print, you find out that they're charging almost eight or $9,000 in lender fees to get you that rate. So you have to be super careful super with careful. that. Correct? Super careful. Yeah, so what is question number two? Great question too. If I get one of these offers and it seems a little too good to be true, probably is. So what do I do instead? Yeah, so you have options. The reality is, First of all, never call the numbers here. What you want to do is you always want to call your local mortgage independent mortgage professional. So call your local professional. An independent broker like us, we have the ability to be able to look at these offers, give you the real skinny on what this really is, but better yet, look at your own situation and figure out what is the best option for you. And then we go shop for you. We call and we shop with different banks to try to find you the lowest possible deal yeah. with basically no lender fees, which is the way we operate. So always call your local professional like ourselves. What's question number three? Question number three is my favorite question. Why would anybody want to refinance their home? That's a great question yeah. too. We get uh, several calls a day for people who want to refinance. And one of the very first things that I always ask people is why? Why do you want to refinance? Mm -hmm. There are really several reasons why people refinance. Reason number one is to lower the payment. Yes. Like a lot of people just want a lower payment. You have to be careful, especially again with these offers because a lower payment doesn't necessarily mean a better loan. Sometimes they, these loans come loaded with fees. To lower the payment, it takes seven, eight, 10 years to get your money back. Reason number two is lower the interest. Same thing, lower interest is great, not at the expense of having to pay a lot of fees. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful. Number three is to change the term. So if you have a 20 year or a 30 year loan and you wanna go down to 10 or 15, we do a refinance. Those are traditionally great loans to do because in the long run, they're gonna save people a ton of money. A ton of money on interest. Another reason to do this is basically to get rid of mortgage insurance. So if you purchase a home with FHA, or a program that has mortgage insurance, if you didn't put 20% down, you probably have mortgage insurance. And if you have equity, we may be able to get rid of that mortgage insurance and save you that in addition to lowering the payment. And the final reason, final reason is when people want cash out of their home. That's a very tough decision to make. We can walk you through that process. We have the ability to do an analysis for you to tell you whether taking the cash out in the long run is going to help. A lot of people have credit cards in loans that are paying 10%, 15%, 20%. I recently saw a loan, someone's paying 28% interest. 
Yeah. So doing a cash out refinance actually was a good option. So And remember too, yeah. with First West Financial um, or any independent mortgage broker, you always get to talk to somebody exactly. who's actually experienced and has been doing this for many, many, many years. That is correct. When you call these numbers, you're not talking to a loan officer, you're really talking to a telemarketer. Yeah. You're talking to someone who is just basically trying to get you into taking a loan application and then move you forward into a loan that may not be the best for you. Kind of like a black hole. We that, is, that is correct. So Chris, if people want to learn more about how to uh, get a refinance or whether mm -hmm. they want to find out what the refinance is for them, what is the best number that they can reach out to us? They can actually call us directly at 760-488-6482 and that'll take you right to Betty. But better yet, what we did is we created a special link that if you click on it, you can actually put all the information related to your refinance. You'll be able to even upload a copy of your mortgage statement so we can give you an answer very, very quickly. Super easy. So just click on the link or give us a call or comment below. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Absolutely. We look forward to seeing you again on the next Q&A with Chris and Enrique. Have a great day.